What's going on guys? It's Chris again here. Hello! Uh, we're packing up uh, for regionals. It's finally here. It's this Sunday. I'm getting ready to leave in the morning to go meet Jeff. He's been at Cave Run since yesterday trying to figure out a pattern for us to run. So I have been here uh, trying to get everything packed up and ready to go. Uh, it's tough, a little bit tough when you're trying to co-angle because you can't really bring everything you want to bring. Uh, I, I don't want to pack a bunch of rods and then end up not using but three of them. But So I've tried to pick and choose wisely. Where I have fished this lake before, it makes it a little bit easier, but uh, we'll see. Uh, I, I'm gonna video this a little bit. I may not really talk while I'm videoing it just because we're trying to fish this tournament. So I think the first place prize is like four grand. So uh, we're, as usual, gonna try to focus. No, I mean, we're gonna catch anything or win anything, but we're gonna try to focus, so. Uh, anyway, they changed the rules a little bit. I think this year they got, I think they kind of messed with the, the uh, uh, what do you call it? What word am I looking for, Nicholas? What word am I looking for? The slot limit, that's it. Yes, the slot limit. They've changed the slot limit this year for this tournament. I know before it was kind of this weird, uh, anything between 13 and 16 you couldn't keep. But I think this year it's going to be 12, anything 12 inches and over you can keep as long as you're throwing it back, I think. I might be wrong, but I think that's the way they're going to do the tournament this year. And hopefully that will benefit us. Because I know last year and the year before when I fished, I, there was so many fish I had to throw back because it was in between that slot limit. And it, it really hurt me. But uh, anyway, we're going to get everything packed up. Get the get everything ready and uh, we're gonna head out of here about five o'clock in the morning and uh, I'll see you on the flip side. waiting on Jeff. Uh, the actual tournament in the, tomorrow will launch out of Clay Lick, but, uh, which is actually just a couple miles around the, the bend here. But uh, he wanted me to meet him here. Uh, we'll see if we can get some uh, practice in, find some fish. Uh, like I said, it's supposed to rain. You got the hurricane coming up from the, the coast and you got all the after effects of that. So uh, I don't know, uh, the weather's gonna be pretty rough so we'll see what the fishing's like hopefully we can find something figure a pattern out for tomorrow and uh hopefully win some money out of this thing so uh stick with us stay tuned and we'll be right back with you there's definitely definitely fish in the grass now i i brought a uh a watermelon well i mean i got a drop shot but i got that little watermelon magic zoom worm on there because I've, I've caught fish out of this grass before here throwing a drop shot a weightless drop shot i went and bought some of them uh one aught hooks just for that that thing's a swimming sideways i don't know if that's
Yep. Big one yesterday went Went and big enough. Oh, yeah. Oh God, oh he missed it. Did you see that, Jay? <laughs> Good grief. Sonny come out of the water for that thing. My God. Two or three times. They don't learn, huh? That's the ones we want. The ones that don't learn. Yeah, they, they had to be. Uh, I mean, I've caught it within five minutes. <laughs> well, I mean, I catch them all the time with the holes and hook marks in their mouth and. You know, coal tag punctures in their jaws. Well, I mean, if it ain't absolutely coming a monsoon in the morning, this may may work for a couple. I mean, he absolutely launched himself out of the water. It's crazy. I mean, I didn't even get one good crank on the handle when he... see them come up. I mean, you've got two or three foot of visibility in that. I'll tell you what, that look how good that works with that five volt hook on there. And that's a that's just a regular fluke. That four out hook, it didn't have that much, you know what I'm saying, that good action. Huh. Weird. We got a little more weight. Oh, yeah. Capes it down whenever you're.
And this one's a sexy shad. It's the only bag I found of them over at Sportsman. Good that and I'm just barely twitching that rod. And I've got two of these. I've got two jerk bait rods. This one's the the old uh, Veritas. That other one I used the other day was a what do you call it? The Vengeance rod. My wife says I've got too many. She's like, well, you need so many rides for her. And I'm like, because you don't want to have to retie every time you. Exactly. You just pick up another one. Tell you where. Be something like a friendly tree. But like I said, I ain't no professional. Oh Lord. Get myself tangled up. Haha. <laughs> Work and money. Yeah. Work and money. <sighs> you know. Huh? Oh, look out. I'm on some bait line there. Look out, look out, look out. Look out. That's okay. I got plenty of padding on there. <laughs> well, look there. There's a turtle. Well, I could see the line going. But it was, I couldn't move it. Hey, it's probably a musky or a big ass gar. <laughs> 20 pound bass. <laughs> State record. Yeah. 
Nope. See, this, <laughs> this is the kind of fish I was catching last year out here. <laughs> hey, little, little eight and ten inches. Eight and ten inches. Keep the boat still, and probably throw a drop shot around some of them. And logs and lay down. And I see a fish right there, I don't know what it is, it looks like a... Well, I would have thought short it'd have been something back here, even if it had been a ten incher. Well, hell. All right, guys, that's it for the first half of our Cave Run Regional video. Uh, Jeff and I thought we had a pretty good pattern going there because, and it was off camera, but when we got to our first spot, uh, three or four cast in, I caught a, a good 15 and a half inch keeper on a top water on a buzz bait over the grass. Uh, and then I had another blow up on one. Uh, we had several hits on flukes and uh, Spinner baits and stuff, and of course, me and him both caught random fish on the crank and some of the banks, some of the wood, lay down and stuff. But anyway, uh, our, we're going to carry that pattern over into Sunday, actual tournament day. It may or may not hold up. You'll have to watch the next video to see. The rain is really supposed to pick up where the remnants of the hurricane's coming through, so we'll just have to see. Uh, the fish are biting. Uh, somebody's going to catch them. I hope it's us, but like I said, you'll just have to watch the next video to find out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit those like and subscribe buttons. Help me get the subscriber count up because I got another reel I want to give away. And as always, I appreciate the view. Thank you for watching.